This is how I live, I live. This is what I love of. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest to myself, Mr. Kevin. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another episode. Chris, what's wrong? Are I'm you, just looking at Is this always here? No. Okay, I was this, like, what is happening? This piece of equipment will allow us to take phone calls and all kind of stuff. So. Oh, this mm-hmm. is... This is this what is I was a, telling you guys about. We've okay. incorporated it now. So oh, it's a, a fancy upgrade. We should have had a caller call in. It's not too late. I mean, Let's, you know. let's do it. Let's, let's <laughs> get a caller to call in. <laughs> Let's test it out since it looks it just looks so new. Yeah. We should it do looks when we a little go bit live. It looks a little bit like a th- synthesizer. You know like those synthesizers yeah, like from a, back in the day? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. So we're recording already. I know the I don't know it what you look like 1200. <laughs> that's how that's how asleep Crystal is. She was about to plan the show mm-hmm. on the show. <laughs> well, you know, you said it's not too late. We could text someone and I was kind of joking. Joking. good cushion oh. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's no time like the present. Hey. We were just talking about that. Level. Hey, focus on today. Make the most out of today. That's right. I didn't. I wasn't talking about that. That was what you guys were talking about. <laughs> That's what you and I were talking about. Make like just getting through the day, getting through tomorrow, as opposed to focusing on ten to fifteen years. Uh, Don't we make it seem like I wasn't. We weren't talking. Well, about what that. I was talking about crazy. No, no, I was talking about old man energy. And I mean old. When I say old, no disrespect to people who are fifty and sixty. I'm talking about when I say old man, I'm kind of being facetious. But I'm not being facetious. old man energy is different than twenty five year old man. Is energy. it gonna get old, worse? Old man, <laughs> old man energy is down, but old man strength is up. What does that mean? Old, For a second. Old man be mean? Uh, old man be strong as shit. Like For a you, second. Hey. Mr. Burns. <laughs> <laughs> For a second. Then we can tap out. It's just a, it's here's the thing, right? What uh, what me and Crystal were agreeing on is that when you're 25, mm-hmm. like you're seeing so far down the road that you're willing to work, you know, you're you're willing to kill yourself. Sleep when I die. Yeah. Right. That's but, that's yeah. Mm-hmm. But when yeah. you're 45 or you're 40 something, you know what I'm saying? You're like, you know what, man? I just want to make. Wait. No, I just want to enjoy today and maybe a little bit of tomorrow. And I'll worry about tomorrow and a half tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow and a, you and know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Like, I'm just trying to get through this. I want to enjoy the next seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, I'm that's locked real. In. I'm locked in for a cool eight hours. After that, We'll we'll, re, we'll refocus. Right? I don't want to sacrifice. We'll restructure. I don't want to well, sacrifice think- this uh, this eight hours <laughs> for the next one. I'm like I want to take these. Well, you- what I also learned is that because because my my daughter's at that stage, she is just has a career that she loves, and she's like you know she's sleeping at the studio. She's like mom, I you know this is worth it. This is worth. Every-. I told her I said this guy didn't sleep for ten years. She was like, well I'm on my grind, and I'm just like sleep is good. Sleep is good. People say you sleep when you die, but when you don't sleep, you are not on... I am not on point. Now, when I was her age, I didn't need to sleep. I could get up, be refreshed. I am almost incoherent right now because I'm tired. (laughs) So sleep is important. Sleep is important, right? I don't know what's going to happen in 10 years. I may not make it. You know, or something totally different could happen. Who knows? Well, you know what? I think when you're young, like, you can commit yourself to something like your career or, or whatever your passion is. Yeah. And put your all into it because you've got no responsibilities, no other outside commitments. Like, this is what you're doing. This is right. what you're here to do, and you can stay there all day and all night long. Yeah. Right? When you become a little older and you got other obligations and commitments, you be like, okay, I got to be here for a couple of hours, so let me just make sure I can watch the game at least, <laughs> or, you know. Well, you know what? That brings me to, there's so Find much me happened. a comfy chair. <laughs> so much happened while we were, we missed one week and everything. There were so many topics I wanted to talk about, but that brings me to, this brings me to one topic, which is struggle love, Right. So there was a <laughs> there was a post that Gucci Man put up that actually other people have been posting. He actually put it up after someone else put Le it Flair? up. Le Flair? Le Flair. He basically, it was a post that showed, you know, a lot of people feel like he and his wife, Keisha K, are our relationship goals, right? Mm-hmm. But in the post, and I, I'll, I'll read it, but the post was basically saying that, you know, she went through a lot to get to where they are. So she she put in the time. It's just like... You know, my daughter at, at work, she's, you know, there's there's all types of things happening. But she put in that time. All right, here's, here's the actual post. Everyone wants this, meaning Gucci and Keisha. Mm-hmm. 
But what y'all forget was she was with Wild Gucci on drugs, Gucci, cheating Gucci, in jail Gucci, publicity with other women Gucci. This is now Gucci after therapy, after rehabilitation. This is a street man groomed in his 30s after he's been at his lowest point. Point is, this is a writer who knew what she signed up for. You chicks is with the next nigga after a couple of fights. Now, I, I think that maybe age also dictates your ability to be ride or die. Because I think if you're in your 20s, I don't know how old she is. You really can't tell a black woman. It's just a mysterious thing. But if you're in your 20s or maybe even early 30s and you meet a guy and he's a little rough around the edges, he has a lot going on. You can, you can be a prophet or a psychic, if you will. Foresee the future that if I go through this with this guy, he may turn, he may, there's enough good raw materials to where this could be good husband material down the road. Once you get to a certain age, it's like you need to come ready already. I, I just don't have the time to. I mean, can you imagine getting with a guy in his 40s and you have to go through struggle love to get to the good stuff? You may, you may not make it. You may not make you, it. You believe that she was a prophetess? <laughs> I believe. Of that Gucci. She, <laughs> no, just period. You, I know the black girl magic thing is strong with you. Like the it force. Is, it is. It <laughs> it's is. strong with you. Yeah. Well, I feel but, like she felt that there was something about him that was worth sticking out all that. No. No? What do no. you say? What do you say? No, it's just, that's, it's, this is all BS. What do you say? She was just lucky. It, you know how many women... <laughs> that's not lucky. You, you, you know, that is no, not no, lucky. No, it is because it, it paid off in the end. You know how many women have gone through this with countless number of Negroes and at the end there's no... Well, that that's true but in the same token there are a lot of people... But she's a prophetess because it worked? I th- I'm just saying you have to know there's some people who have worked at being a rapper mm-hmm. who have worked at being a, a producer right. who have worked at being a model an right. actor right. for 10 years and right. it does not work, right? Same as this. I, I, I And then the ones that do and it pays off... Well. I don't know. So, but okay. So here's here's Same my thing. here's my real criticism, though. I okay. I don't believe she's a prophetess at all. She just I'm got just, lucky. I'm being facetious, but, but here's the real thing. You're acting like this is the end of the story, and now it's happily ever after. <laughs> right. This shit could all burn down tomorrow, this and then true. she'd be the most unlucky woman alive. And everybody, like, I would hate to be her to have it all and have it stripped away. <laughs> yeah. Or actually, I mean, I'm obviously being facetious because I'm not really a fan of struggle up. But that is a conversation <laughs> happening on social media. There are girls that feel like. I am willing to stick it out with this guy right? regardless of because I'm holding on to the fact that he's going to see that I'm a ride or die Uh and that I'm loyal and then he's going to, you know, be this amazing man. However, he's probably, chances are some of that same behavior is going on now. Maybe it just hasn't made Instagram. You know what I mean? Like there's no really, there's, there's no way to gauge, you know, whether the other women or pray to God it no more drugs but I mean there's just no way to gauge what a person is doing and I don't know if that always pays off but again I think it's like any gamble in life T.I. and Tiny have a podcast T.I. has a podcast expeditiously he had Tiny on (laughs) I love the name it's hilarious he had Tiny on and and obviously she's another prophetess like she got with him early on (laughs) and and it and it worked out you know for her However, no, but see, I, I can't, I can't let that go. You're about to say something. I'll let you go first. Um, well, I'm, I'm leaning towards it. Just has to be. Um, I'm with you that it's not luck, but we're, we're, we're fantasizing, we're romanticizing marriage, and the truth of the matter is, you don't know who somebody is going to be in right. ten years. You right. don't. You got no clue. But I mean, right. everybody is taking a well, not everybody. A lot of people are taking a gamble. I'm just asking you guys. Let's just let's just rewind. Do you believe in struggle love? Do you believe in order to get to a place? Because even most couples that have been married for thirty to forty years have gone through some really bad times. Mm-hmm. Now, whether they're as bad as what Keisha and Gucci went through, we we you know I don't know. But most people, the key to a long successful relationship, I'm not even going to say marriage, is not giving up. So do you believe that there has to be some amount of struggle in love? What do you mean give up? Like it's- Stop, quit, divorce, get out, abandon shit, <laughs> get the fuck on. Well, <laughs> well, that's, I believe it's a commitment. And so you do kind of like the richer for poor, sickness or health, et cetera, et cetera, right? So like you're, you're supposed to hang in there. And, and isn't that what we're 
like practicing and trying to figure out when we're dating people up until we find that person that we marry. Like we're we're trying to say, okay, like have you ever had uh, somebody? You you know how somebody does the first person to fuck up in the relationship. Everything's good. You've gotten together and you're having this uh, this happy blissful time, and then one person uh, you have your first fight, uh-huh, uh-huh. right? Um, and then you decide, you know, like how long do I, how much do I put up with? How much do I hang in there right. before, uh, like, cause I got to give it a shot, right? I got to hang in there for whatever to figure out if I'm going to go long-term with this person. Right. Nowadays, what a lot of women have done is they've said, I'm not hanging in there for anything, Fuck you, I'll get on with somebody else. How, or we, I'll just date multiple people at the same time. That way I'll just never get hurt, right? Are because, only women doing this? Eh, men have been doing it for ages. Oh, okay. I think women okay. have, have started to, yeah, we're going to do it too. We're, okay. We've got the playbook. Thank you for that. Just wanted to make sure there was clarity. Right. So let's just, everybody's doing it. We're all doing the same thing. Yeah, we are all okay. hurting each other. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So there's no such thing as love without struggle involved. And I, I, I don't like the word struggle, love. That's I don't just either. stupid. I think I, I think that is I think that it is kind of uh, cheap. It's it's kind of summing up or, or or cheapening what people really go through. And I think there's a difference between what people are calling quote unquote struggle love and just being disrespected. And 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 then there's a difference with just problems and relationships. Being cheated on repeatedly to me is not struggle up, but that's my definition. Where someone else made that may not. I've talked to a lot of people that don't believe that cheating is a deal breaker for them. That's right. not as bad. So I I don't want to say it's kind of difficult to say what it you know it should be for other people, but I just don't think that if a person respects you, um, you should have to go through them them hurting you over and over again because life is going to throw hurdles at both of us. Right, things happen. You know, jobs, money, family, children, all types. But if we're the ones hurting each other, that doesn't feel like something I think we should celebrate. But again, I could be wrong because I've talked, I have talked to couples. I had a conversation with an older woman and she said her husband was a philanderer. He did all these things. And then after a certain amount of time, he changed and he's the most amazing, you know, husband in the world. So I think it's, it's kind of like on an individual basis. People have to decide what they feel they can deal with or not. But I do believe, to sum all this up, that in order to have a long-standing, really valuable relationship, you do have to be willing to go through some, some turbulence. I do think it's realistic to... It's realistic to say that you are going to have to put up with someone's shit. If you plan to be married, like we look at our grandparents for thirty years, and like, like we, oh my God, thirty years! Oh, stand and applaud. That's wow. What's your secret? Yeah, I put up with his shit. Yeah, there's some bad. I put times up with I your grandfather's leave. shit for thirty years. That's how they make it. Like, yeah, you, you just have to decide whether or not this person's shit is something that you can deal with. I agree. I just think the shit should be introduced. No, come on. There's no Not that, all at people. Once. People change. That it doesn't start. It doesn't necessarily start that way. But I'm saying some people are this. 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 These. This social media conversation is suggesting the shit starts early on. <laughs> the shit's but, in the beginning. No, nobody. Okay, people always say that. Nobody's I should have seen it. I should have seen it. But you, yeah. there, there was nothing you could see. It, That's it, true. It, it gradually changed, and your your blinders came. You know, kick, fell off later, and then you started. You know, so yeah. there's not there's not really a way to see. I think it's a little immature to say struggle love, and I think it's the exact same immaturity level that has people saying things like, "Girl, you don't need to settle," or mm-hmm. "Dude, you shouldn't settle." Yes, you do. You should settle. <laughs> you are Set- going to have to settle. Look at look. Or- don't look at the word settle as like you're you're taking yourself down a notch. Yeah. It's just you're agreeing. It's almost like a it's almost like a negotiation. I I want these ten things. I'm gonna settle. For whatever, like when you settle with a credit card, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they're not going to get all the money. A car, or a car. You're going to buy a car. You don't get the price you want. At the, the end, we're going to shake want. hands. It's, the, right. it's a deal. I we, we want, You owe us 10. Yeah. We'll take four. Oh, shit. Those are bad odds. For who? Whoever's the taking creditor? the four. <laughs> no, I'm saying like if, oh, if, if, you, okay, if okay, you owe okay. 10 if and they say- If it was one before, then four <laughs> is a come up. And depending depending <laughs> on depending on your stock and what you're bringing to it, you can yeah. say I, I wanted ten, I'll take nine. 
Well, but you know what? That is a tricky, that's a slippery slope. Why? Because what I think on both sides, men and women, I think when people take inventory of their own stock, they don't have an objective view. Okay. I know a lot of people that are thinking that they have a lot more credit than they do. You mean they, oh, they overvalue themselves? Just And a they smidgen. undervalue others? Just a smidgen. That's or, not narcissism. Okay, so then don't include yourself. Just look, when you're looking at the woman that you're thinking about being with or the yeah. guy that you're thinking about being Thank with. Thank you. You, uh, you, you can look at it and say, well, you know, these are really heavy things. These weigh a lot. Right. But these things are not that much. So, right. okay, so yeah, you don't get the 6'4 guy. He's, he's 5'10". Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good no, with but that. I'm saying I thought you were going to go even lower. I, f- I feel like you practiced that. I, no, I, I, was, <laughs> right. I, was, I was waiting. Yeah. I was like, yeah, bated I'm, breath, like, I'm where? No, no, How far no, down no, this one road tear is came he out going? on this side. Y'all can't see it in the camera. <laughs> on this side, there's a little tear that came down her face. <laughs> oh. I thought he was gonna be like Hell. he's five seven. No, no, but okay, five seven. It what I'm saying oh, is, is my that God. my point is, We're is eye though. To eye. <laughs> well, my point is though is people always make it seem like don't settle for anything, and I'm right, saying I yes, agree. absolutely settle. Right. But settle, it's a negotiation. It's still right. a negotiation. Well, I think it just there has to be enough good. I put up a post the other day. I think that you have to find someone that has enough good. No. That you can say, I can say my own damn opinion. That's irresponsible That you can say, too. he has enough good that I can say I'm willing to not give up. He has to have enough good for me to say that because otherwise I'm going to let go. What do you mean by not give up? I think that you have to be willing to commit to not letting go of the person if you really want a long-standing relationship. I disagree. Okay. I think you got to be willing to walk away. A little of both, actually. I think because I think I think love and and I heard this on a record too. I can't remember which one, but love is a combination of holding tight and letting go. And so I feel like, mm, yeah, I see, you, I see. I mean, you have no context in that shit. But I, I, like, I, I'll put my own context to it. <laughs> it makes sense if I in, in my holding mind holding tight and letting go. Right, I'll make I'll make it make sense How in do you my let context. Go? What are you talking? Because you have to you give like, them room to grow and be. Uh, yeah, they're going to. You can't stop a person from growing. Right. Do you think, like, do you, for example, with with Kim and Kanye, do That's you think that Kim knew that Kanye was <laughs> one day going to lose his mind, air quotes, uh-huh. uh, and uh, pursue Christian music? Is this Christian music? Passionately. This is, is, that what, this is, is that what we're calling it? This is gospel, Christian music it is. Even, though, music. even though he did Jesus Walks, yeah. he's done Yeezus. He's mm-hmm. done Life of Pablo. Well, He's had countless Jesus. Bible references. I don't think But do you Jesus. think that she thought, hmm, one day, I don't think he, lose his mind. I don't think Jesus is a gospel reference. I think that's almost sacrilegious. But we're, I, I just wanted to make a note of that. Let's don't include that. Call yourself Jesus. Let's don't include that. Hey, let's that not split that. hairs. But yeah. I'm just saying, I don't. End uh. of the day, settling is not a bad thing. Settling is, is part of the negotiation. And you know, just you just hope you have favorable terms, really mm-hmm. <laughs> favorable terms. That's what you're looking for, because yeah. they're, they're because here's the thing, right? The person you're never going to get 100 percent of anything, and mm-hmm. and the crazy part about it is the person that you marry or the person you get with is not, not going to be the person that you, in 10 years. That's true. As a la Gucci man, that's not the same person that she first got that she with. got involved with. And yeah. okay, but for them, uh, it's a little bit easier to me. I'm not really sure her background at all, right. so don't blame me if I if I. If I misspeak Right But I'm not sure that Whatever she does in her life Is equal to what he does In his life As far as um, Recognition And um, Potential for earning Right I don't believe that she Has that type of I think Gucci does have More notoriety Oh yeah Well definitely he And definitely more has earning more potential too Right Well she was a She was a hustler But I, he definitely Supersedes what she was doing So it wasn't Too big of a gamble Because While she's there She's gonna live right yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then if it doesn't work out, she has the potential. She got him. She can get another somebody like him yeah. because she has the potential to get to have gotten him. So <laughs> the, the the gamble that you're saying, like the tiny and the and the her name's Keisha. Keisha yeah. and Tiny, the, the gamble is that's not a big gamble. Well, tiny if somebody did take a were to, gamble because Tiny actually had more fame than Ti at the time they got together. When <laughs> this was, uh, can this I say before the, uh, the escape? Duh, don't do that. No, no, don't come on you now. do it. Don't you do it? Escape had escape. No ex- disrespect to no disrespect to the three members of Escape that there no were, one knows their name prior to Tiny getting a TV show and beginning with Ti. Candy, Candy is the one that people know. Everybody else was kind of like no disrespect, but I mean honestly, people on the West Coast did not know Tiny or Tamika, Tamika and Latasha. Latasha, 
They knew candy. <laughs> and you lived in Atlanta. And I'm from it. I'm from Atlanta. And we're into music. And was in Atlanta at the <laughs> that time. Was the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. I knew I knew Tiny because she um was and a little she bit with tip. And she was a little bit more upfront, I guess, than the other two. Yeah, she the big was, sister she and was, little sister see, I, that flipped. I did know her. And the big sister became the little sister, and the little sister became the big yeah, sister. Yeah, I did know her. I did know Tiny. I I was in Oklahoma. And I did know who Tiny was. She also wrote on some songs, so you 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 could, on some songs. She won some Grammys for, so she definitely was. But I mean, writer. you heard her name because she wrote songs. But too. the point was, she was fam- she was famous. She was in, she was in a group. He was not. He was okay. He was not. He was so, signed. I don't think he was even signed at the time they got together. He so this, this was is, early this on. Is this is pre L A. This yes. Really yes yes. This is pre pre uh, LaFace, the first situation that didn't really? work out. Yeah. Pre, I'm serious. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That was like 2001. They've been together a long time. Really? Yeah. I don't know. We could fact check that, but I feel like we split hairs. No, but they. But I'm just saying that at the t- she she, you mentioned earning potential. She had earned more. So yeah. I'm just saying whether or not you know. No. No. Even no, with, no. 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 Even when they were I'm both serious, successful in their own right. Not at the time. No. They were. They were I, I'm willing no. to say that they were both successful because in their I, own I've right. told. I'm not gonna. I'm not it's gonna like say Denzel I know. And his wife. But I heard his wife did her thing. Yeah, Who? I heard that Denzel she actually oh, okay. helped him with you know buy equipment for him to okay. get himself together. So she was definitely. And she's doing that. That's way before LA. Yeah, she yeah. was. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but I, but I'm speaking more along the lines, I guess, of the women that they get with with guys that are different. Obviously, have a a much higher. I'm going to just hang in here with this baller and just hope that he changes right. and make and the I, sacrifice. And like, whether or not she has her own earning potential, the right. amount of that he has is different. So That's like, true. so you're in a, a 10 year relationship, you're going through the struggles and he's cheating on you, whatever. But you're having highs because you're getting to hang out with other celebrities. You're getting to go place. You got a brand new Bentley. And like, ah, yeah, at the you. end of the day, There's the, the clout that required you to have, the clout that was required for you to get that type of guy, yeah. you still have that clout. And That's if you true. wanted to walk away, you could, and you, you know can. what you could do? Find another one. Find another one because mm-hmm. they're right around, and yeah. they like to date. So, okay, off of that, I wanted to revisit what you mentioned with Kim and Kanye. What do you guys think as husbands about Kanye's plea all of a sudden now mm-hmm. that Kim stopped wearing sexy, revealing clothes? Idiot. I get it. It's just not going to happen. I'm trying to get my wife to stop wearing bras and panties. He's going to you going the wrong direction, Kanye. What are you talking about? I just don't want her to ever wear those things. Well, see, here's not to work. I don't care. Kanye. As long as why? it's not as long as it's not offensive, you know what I'm saying? Like if she has something But why? I I just like I like I But like, can you just be loose at home? Sure. Whatever. However you however she wants to do it. It's her choice. Her body, her choice. <laughs> right. But I'm he saying, likes what he likes. I'm saying, you know, if we go somewhere, if we go somewhere on the weekend or something, of course she can't go to work with her titties hanging That's what I'm out. Saying, you wrong. said I don't want her to ever wear them again. I'm like, but what do you I, I said I don't want her to ever wear them again. I don't yeah. I, I don't I'm not with her at work, so I don't care what she does at work. Oh my god. But everywhere else, like I I just I'm trying to get that. So Kanye, I feel like Kanye's going the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, it's on display Be appreciative She spent all that money On them parts And yeah. he wants to cover The parts Actually, up Actually I think He probably assisted With some of the That's parts That's what I'm saying I know he did Yeah I know he did Well I think that When you when you meet a person You're right People change But And he has obviously changed um, And he may change back I, I suspect He will may. be changing back May <laughs> But I don't think that you can I think a lot of times We see this situation With men and women And, it, and probably women as well But we know that Like a man will see a woman Out at a club And she's wearing Really revealing clothes And then he's attracted to her Because of that And then He gets with her And it becomes like His property And now he wants her To put on clothes And it's like This is what you were Attracted to This is how we met How can you expect me To not Be that same person You want that person To now change And just be you know that for you, I think that's, un, that's unrealistic. Well, uh, I think I do think it's 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 un it's unrealistic for a person to go on a spiritual journey or an ascension and expect ascension. everyone to uh, ascend with them, right? Mm-hmm. I, I I got a friend of mine that we used to go to strip clubs together and and hang out, and now he's uh, given his life to the church and and he won't go. He's like I. You can have fun visiting the shoe models, <laughs> and I will not participate. Right. Um, and so I don't see anything wrong with, especially a man, a black man. As, as many black men get a bad rap for doing bad things, uh, for someone saying, you know what, I'm going to be committed within to living my life at a higher standard. 
and I want to bring the people around me. So, wife, I would like for you to dress more modestly. Um, I'm going to walk a certain path, et cetera, et cetera, and, you know, we're, we're going to try to do better. And it's just like what you do with a diet. When you're trying to lose weight, you say, you know what? I can't eat all the stuff that I used to eat. I'm going to, I'm committing myself to consuming this way so that I can be a better version of myself within a certain period of time. But he's forcing her to be a hypocrite, and that's not cool. Well, it's not going to happen. Well, she checked the shit out of that's him. That's unfair. It's unfair. <laughs> well, one, I don't think that you can expect people to do it on their time, but I don't think it's a hypocrite for a person to continue to develop. They can't stop. And we do that but now, nowadays a lot that, in society. But you can't assume the other person should develop along with you. It's like if two, if two people get together and one girl is a social media influencer and she's dating a dope boy, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden she decides showing her butt on, you know, showing her butt on Instagram is no longer good for her. And she goes to school, gets a job, and now she's a legit businesswoman. And then she goes to the to the dope boy boyfriend and is like, hey, come on, let's get you in class. And he's like, I'm good. Even though she may want him to do that, I don't think she can expect him. She can be a good example. Mm -hmm. And I think the best thing you can do in a relationship is just be that example. And if you guys are really friends, that person will probably come along because the two of you guys can find ways to move in sync. But you can't demand that person change just because you've changed and you guys used to party, get high together, hang out. All of a sudden, you're like, I'm It's not I'm even good. demand. It's expect. It's but I'm talking more about the toothpaste. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> That face I'm talking more about The toothpaste You know how you can't Put toothpaste back In the tube Yeah Kim Kardashian's it's Pussy out. and Her titties And is, everything is, is out. It's out of it's, the case It's never going away You can't put that Back in the tube It's so on the tape He's honestly Forcing I mean, her to be He's bragged a, about He did I fell in love With a porn star That's yeah, one but of my Ray favorite J, records He hit it first But look though The problem is Is that he's forcing her To be a hypocrite Because not only Is her ass and pussy And titties out On the internet For everybody to see She got famous Because of it her empire was built on the backs of that video. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard then for her to, to, to jump the other side. Like, That's the well, essence of who well, she you know is. What? You know no, what I'm saying? She, actually, she has to, no, hold on. She has to go with it or else it makes her look different. You know what I'm saying? Well, I actually look forward to uh, Kim's ascension. She started to already. She's, she's doing starting legal to. Work. Yeah, well, not only doing legal work, but doing it. Pro bono and doing it in a way where she's freeing people. Pro bono, right? no one's gonna pay her to do that. She's not doing it pro bono. Everything Kim Kardashian does it's is for, for publicity. Yeah, and the publicity it's, it's, equals billions of dollars. Yeah, I, don't, I mean that's that's easy to say, but no, I, don't, no, I don't know that she got that woman out of jail. I don't know that she got that woman out of jail for publicity. You are missing what I'm saying. Are you kidding you're me? You're missing what I'm saying. All right, but you know what? That just proves you, to me. No, that you take the publicity, publicity that comes with it, but no, you do it because you want to do it. She no, didn't have to do it. If you've ever it's seen both. anything about the Kardashians, you know they're very strategic with every move and they understand what things do. I don't study the Kardashians, I'm sorry. Well, well, you can't really speak to that then. But then assuming that she just did this, I'm not saying that it's not a good thing because some things get you publicity and are a good thing. That's or, what I'm saying. It's both. As well. There's no but way she, she did that very for just the, no, the goodness No, she was calculating it. what it is. It was both. And I do think that she's trying to move in a different direction, but come on now. Well, I mean, she could have she could have done tons of different things. She could have taken blankets down to the homeless in L.A. or some shit. Like, she could have done anything else. She didn't have to get some, someone out of jail that damn near didn't have a chance. There is a president in office that... that, that Honors and respects celebrity and popular people over real shit. So there's an opening that there was never before. Mm -hmm. There's no other president is excited to take a picture with Kim Kardashian like Donald Trump has been. Bill Clinton. So probably. let's. <laughs> Bill it would have been public though. <laughs> it would have been private. What? Come to my, come to my private. Billy would not. He would not <laughs> keep that for his personal. He that what that would have been on the ground. But you guys know what I'm saying. Yeah. There, no other president was allowing Kim Kardashian to help. Be a part of the, right. the, the politics. Like, come on, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm there's a there's an opening and there's an opportunity to impact social culture differently than it's ever been before. Anybody that's popular can get in with Trump, and he's cool. Like this is this is just we're we're so in a bizarre So all the celebrities world. should just be be freeing people in in prison unfairly. That's that's what they all should be doing. Where's Where's Paris Hilton? 
Maybe Where's, she does. Maybe that's. Maybe she doesn't want to do that. Who's, who's Taylor Swift free? No, but see, those people don't have the same influence as Kim Kardashian no. does. And I don't think. And Taylor Swift that actually even be does comparison. something. You realize that, right? Taylor Swift is an amazing artist and songwriter, so she's already legitimate. Like Kim is looking for other other things to do. Taylor Swift is straight. Um, who did you say? Paris Hilton. Uh, I don't know. Her parents are. I mean, she's has Kim Kardashian Hilton. been famous longer than Taylor Swift? I don't know. Why does that matter? She, but but the know. point is, she's she's famous for having sex with Ray J. Taylor Swift is substantial. There's a difference, and and you should right. know this. Everybody said Kim Kardashian doesn't have any talent. Everyone she, says it. Well, she has talent. Exactly. It's just it's just it's not a. Her talent is being someone Popular. people want to being see. Famous. Yeah, Taylor Swift is. I just don't want to make that. That's a very different. That's not different the same thing. thing. Taylor Swift, uh, her value is her talent, and her talent whereas, is yeah. Whereas Kim Kardashian found a talent. Based on, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. She used what she had, but let's don't compare those two because they're not. Taylor Swift is doing something, and her talent gets her the fame. Kim Kardashian's fame got her the, her fame know, the, is talent. the talent. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Okay, but I'm just I'm just saying for the story, right? So for Kim Kardashian's story, her arc. Yes, it's cool for her to I like that word. Her to become this, you know, composed, um, refined older woman but she can't deny her story that way also because then it, what what does that mean for the young girls who she's saying hey you know what i'm saying like the, the part of it is that girls want to be her yeah right so she can't she can't disconnect herself from the side of her fans that are like her like that that's where a lot more money is going to come to her from the people who are willing to get on on video with a rage with Ray J and suck his dick than would from the people who want to be business women. Well, right, that may, that may be true, but I look I look forward to Kim Kardashian becoming an an older woman and and doing older person thing. I don't want to see Kim Kardashian no, no. whole forever. It would be lit. If I don't want to see Kanye anyone whole forever. Did a did a sex tape. Like you still like yeah. If she well, dropped the, the he 30th out, anniversary of the Ray J 20, tape, like, 20, come 20. On. like he and he plays Ray J in the video. <laughs> like they recreate the scenes and everything. Yeah, that, everybody's mm-hmm. buying that. That's that's go, that's going. That's, that's true. Yeah. So and I think that he, I think that Kanye will come back quickly. And her body is younger than in 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 age of parts. It's younger than most eighteen year olds. Mm-hmm. It's younger than her old body, her original <laughs> body in the tape. It's yeah, a, it's yeah. a newer one. Her body. I mean, I wonder what the warranty is on it. <laughs> new and improved. Huh? Yeah, I don't know about improved, but new. I mean, she probably looks great. I don't really. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the the weird the weird shapes. The the, <laughs> the anatomically incorrect. Uh, yeah, I'm dimensions. not really a fan. No bugs life. Mm-mm. It looks good in dresses. I got to give it to her. It looks great in dresses. Mm, that's not where I want you. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where Again, I want you. You did just say that you're you're anti brown panty, so yeah. I want to yeah. just you know what I'm yeah. saying, just let it let it flow. She did popularize the the booty implants before we realized the the well, ass to thigh ratio. It was so ridiculous. It was just like whoa, that's a lot. But see, I, you guys have been in, have y'all been in Atlanta long enough to like when the stripper thing happened, where all the strippers were getting it here. I haven't. And they were yeah. getting like pussy and shots never, and everything. I, what? Like, yeah. Well. Like this was way before. What, what are that? What 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 are those? Well, you know how to say like a fat rabbit or whatever. How do you Girls not, have a fat how rabbit? do you not you know, know? Are you I, you've been rejuvenated? I thought you were. Well but that's aware not the same thing of, the... of that. I don't think that's the yeah. Same there's thing as there's that. like I guess I guess it was collagen. I'm not sure what it was, but they used to plump their lips up to make their wow. no, pussy I didn't look know about fatter. That. I thought it no no no. That was a thing for strippers. No, the rejuvenation is just to do something different. But yeah, <laughs> whoa, okay. Yeah, so I mean, that was a thing. So all that stuff that Kim did or whatever, strippers yeah. here in Atlanta were doing wow, that. Cause so a that while that's ago. how a lot of girls would get a really it's a camel toe that was out of this world. Yeah, you, God, I did not you know that. You can't exactly stuff a sock in it, so you got to do something. You can, but it wouldn't probably show. Cause it's deep in there sometimes. Okay. All well, right. Yeah. Okay. The, you ever seen the sock man that's on like Hamilton, Hamilton Road or by <laughs> West End Mall? Yeah. It's from, like sixty from socks for ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. It is. Some it women is. you can put sixty socks in. <laughs> you know what? And still be room for dick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm willing to bet. <laughs> Did you guys see the the list? That uh, the rap, the rap list, the, the fifty top yeah. fifty or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. fifty idea. You remember about maybe? Did you see the fifty worst? I did. I did. Hold I on did. a second. Hold on a second. But do you remember about maybe a year and a half ago we were going to do that list? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we canceled ninety ten rule. <laughs> we never got to the list. That. Yes. Yes. True. Oh. I wanted to see, and again, this happened while we were we were on we were off. But I was one of the the fifth the the top worst 
it, it angered me to see Ludacris' name in there. I think that was the only one that I... I he was there? Ludacris' yeah. name was in there. Was it, it Memphis Ludacris Bleak? Ludacris was like top 25. Was it Memphis Bleak or Meek Mill? I know I saw one of those Meek. names. It was Meek. I didn't no, see Memphis Bleak, Bleak on there. Yes, he was. Memphis Bleak was on there. Was he on there? Yeah, he was on there. Uh, there was another I one that was I don't remember weird. Meek Mill, but I definitely remember Memphis Bleak because I always thought Memphis Bleak was super cute. But um, yeah, he didn't show How is 21 it. Savage the least worse? <laughs> I don't... I, you know what? And that's I mean, how is and Lil Yachty was one of the most worse. Yeah. How is Ludacris even on that list? Ludacris... Uh, Okay, Ludacris' uh, features were crazy. His mm-hmm. songs were mm, as of when? Because that's. I, but what about the throw them bowls and the and the? Uh, Ludacris' features were always fire. But why mm-hmm. though? Because Ludacris has crazy like his his word. He's, Luda, he's Luda, very Luda all over your body. No, Ludacris was always like a, a, a Dr. Seuss rapper. <laughs> It was I like it was like comedy. Was, you weren't it, sure if it was yeah, comedy it, it, or if it was. It was a is that because comedic. of his voice and fl- like the way? He, yeah, yeah. Like Nicki yeah. Minaj would do some something like that, right? And then he found mm-hmm. it, like he he was he was a niche rapper. He was a niche rapper, and I don't think that like as as much as we listened to Ludacris, we didn't really get into like who Chris Bridges is. We didn't get into like more. You didn't connect with him at a certain level. It, it was, was entertainment. Character. It was a character. You said, yeah. Yeah, it was entertainment. It was a show, but it wasn't. <laughs> was it a show? <laughs> what was it with the spirit fingers? <laughs> Jazz hands. I, so, I don't know. I was it. Was it really? Wait a minute. Did, where, Luda? Uh, where, where'd you go to school? Tuskegee State. Tennessee State. Tennessee State. Yeah. Was it, was there a Glee club there? <laughs> Perhaps. Did, did you partake? I, I, I wasn't in the Glee. You club. watched some rehearsals though, because you did that shit really good. <laughs> it was. Did I? That was all, it, it was. What was that movie that? Um, I musically. There inclined. was a movie that was about these the blackface, and they were like. Ah! And they did the, the uh, um, bamboozle. Bamboozle, yep, yeah. That just reminded me. Of that I was like, okay. I don't think how she calls out like the that. hotel for bam, for being right, bamboozling. So look at me. Well, he's not a hotel anymore. He's no longer a hotel. You think the marriage did it? It could have been. It must have. No, you're not. I, when did I change? My, oh, you just when, sat when here, and so s- I'm looking forward to Kim Kardashian. I, I want to see her grow. Like, <laughs> yeah, you want to see people grow yeah, up? I want to see them do the same dumb shit. Hotels are mad as. Fuck right now. Yeah, they're not. Oh, uh, they're, I mean, they're upset because there are other African Americans that have been doing this work and not getting the hype for it. I'm not wasting my time. I'm not wasting my energy to, on that anger. I'm looking forward to Kim Kardashian's growth. I'm interested in seeing her do more. <laughs> no, your card yeah. is revoked. Go I'm free just saying, some more Yes. No, no, you can't just add it in like that. But honestly, though, Ludacris was a good rapper. I think he's always been a good rapper, but I, I just feel like the the features were really fire. Yeah. The albums were just, mm, they were good, but I don't know about 50 worse, though. No, I don't think I don't know about not, I mean, there's so many other as worse. As great as a, a rapper that Ludacris is, I don't know that he has an album that's a classic. I mean, there are, I think there were other, I'm going to pull up that list. There I think people, you know what? You know what? I think people are mad at Ludacris. Not Quim and I is a classic. Right. That's, that is a. I mean, come on. You know why I That's think people are mad at Ludacris? Game 101, it's a classic. You know why people are mad at Ludacris? Why? Why? His crew. He didn't really have a crew. No, he did. He just never did anything. He never helped. That th- That is a, a Who downside. Who was his crew? Yeah. Shanta, uh, 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 Titty I Boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, 2 Chainz. Duffel Before Bad Boy. Was, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah, he had to separate. Uh, 2 Chainz had to separate. Chingy. You know. Chingy. Chingy was on there. I-20. Uh, mm-hmm. four I- was 4 Eyes part of that crew? I mean, uh, down almost. the line, down the line. Yeah, yeah you was, see what I'm saying? But I mean, like, I think that he he dropped some balls on, and you know what? Maybe we don't. Maybe we're the ones that are in the dark on this. Maybe those guys were full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're. Could but be. You, you never know the whole story. But I know. feel like the the vibe is that he never really pushed the D- rest of DTP. disturbing the peace. Oh, my boys. Um, uh, two two of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sean J. Sean J. Not playing circle, young bloods. No, no, not young bloods. Uh, um, Sean J. And uh. Shit. And, uh, Ruta to the tutor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know you're talking Phil about Phil Mob. Phil Mob. Yes. Phil Mob, who are, yeah. who are dope as shit, yeah. but never got the credit. Finally made it to DTP after getting robbed by their first dude, the mm-hmm. first manager who took all that money. They sure did. There was a big thing and then, and then nothing ever happened. And then it feels like they just fell apart. Now, I don't know if it was just them being niggerish or if Luda didn't really do what was necessary to push them. I just think for Ludacris to be on this list that includes people like Shaq. Yeah. Uh, I thought Shaq was the best rapper. I, I, I mean, athlete. 
<laughs> yeah, I think Shaq is the best rapper athlete, mm, but Damian Lillard kind of. I well, that's. Did new. you hear that? No, I didn't. Is it? This pretty is good? A, yeah, he did. Kinda, Bow Wow. I don't think Bow Wow should be on this list. Bow Wow is no. Bow Wow was sold a lot of records. He as did. A kid. I, I don't think yeah. that he. And should I think be people, on here. people had faith in him as a little kid. Just it didn't translate. It didn't translate. And I don't think that's because he wasn't talented. I think it's just because his personality got in the way. Of his he couldn't talent. do both. Well, it's he a couldn't. lot of pressure too, man. People are. People are. Are hard critics. So what? Are very I'm hard just saying, fans. but this designer, like Ludacris, doesn't belong on this list right. at all. Um, uh, Webby Plies. I don't think Plies belongs on this list. I'm not a big Plies fan, but this. I mean, you got Stunner for Vegas, and you know what? A lot of those, <laughs> a Joe lot of Joe those, Simmons. are not lyrical. Right, but right. again, people but, like lyrical rappers. Ludacris Freeway. is lyrical. Freeway. I like Freeway. That's why I now Nick Cannon. See, it's just a mixture of. <laughs> it seems like a mixture of people that I think no there one was likes. People just trying. To, that's, that's that's what I'm saying. Ludacris. Yeah. I don't think people liked him. You can't put Ludacris on the same as Nicky Ron Azalea, Artest. Trinidad James. As Ron Artest, <laughs> like Ron Artest. <laughs> that's that's not. This is not fair. <laughs> yeah, that's. It, I think it's they French don't, just Montana. Don't like him. French Montana can't rap. Uh, he can't. Yeah. He can't. But I'm just saying again. This is, these are people that Ludacris should not be in the same company as. This was a troll. This is a troll. A troll this is. is a and Ludacris troll. is on there because people don't like it. They him. don't like it. And Bow Wow, too. And Bow Wow has a personality that a lot of people look. Look what's, what's, what's consistent about both of those guys. They both had a lot of fucking money. They yeah. made an yeah. incredible amount of money. They do. And still do. And people don't like them. So when you, have that, when you have that, that, that combination together, you're going to make the, the worst That's 50 true. list. Now, I'm I still do. not mad at Ludacris, though. He made his money and did Fast and the Furious. I, I think I'm a fan of Ludacris. Now, I do believe, I want to say right now that my favorite, and I think should have been number one, is. Uh, uh, number 15, which is Black Tie, which I'm hoping is Tyrese. That is Tyrese. I'm over it. Yeah. Like, I don't even, he wasn't a good rapper. He should have been number one. Okay, here's, I got another I, person I from, from Luda's crew. Where the fuck is Poon Daddy? <laughs> I forgot about Poon Daddy. Has wow. Ludacris ever helped anybody but Shaka Zulu? And Shaka might help Luda. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Has anybody ever, but maybe that's what it is. Shaka's like, look, <laughs> come on, man. Let me I got take you. you. I don't right. got the rest of these. <laughs> fuck these other niggas. You know what I'm saying? But me and you, man. Because uh, name one other person that made it there was a girl on DTP too. Shanta. Sha- yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. make it. She did not make it. Well, she had a head song. Was it Shanta or Shauna? Wait a minute. Shana. Shana. Didn't she? Did, is that yeah. who did the lick, 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 get, lick you get from your head? head. Get, that yeah. was it. Yeah, one was it. hit. I mean, she had a, at least she had a hit. At least she had it. Well, Duffel Bad Boy was a hit. Yeah, he did. But then Titty Boy had to change the name. He, <laughs> he had to come away from that. No and longer. Most people don't even know that there were that he was signed a little to uh, DTP. So, did you guys see the Iggy Azalea? I went go- off on uh, not I- Iggy um, went off on Ti, and basically was like, uh, she says, "When will this guy shut up?" <laughs> the only song you were ever a part of was ma- making was one hundred. Thank you for that, but you were not a part of the creative or executive process on the album, which is why I always take issue with you trying to approximate yourself with his success. She went off on. Tip. Well, she should have because he he went off. He said some dumb shit too, and I know he's doing it because he's trying to connect back with his people. He is. She's wait a minute. She keeps going. She says, "Please move on and speak about artists you are hopefully actually helping, mm. and stop trying to bring me up for relevance. I don't bring your ass up. No one is asking about you. I'm trying to be nice because I genuinely have better and more interesting things happen. But seeing a man no, speaking." Doesn't. Out of his asshole and blurting our one thing in public and another in private for years is infuriating. Yeah. Keep it pushing, sweetie, and worry about what your next story is storyline is for Family Hustle. I believe her. Whoa. I believe her. You know why I believe her? Because real niggas, and I, I consider T.I. to be a real nigga. Yeah, definitely. You got to stand up when you make a mistake. Right. Don't say that shit like I took a chance, it was a bullshit. No. Yeah. I believed in her. It didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? So because he wrote I, hard for it. For I wish her the best. And right. you know what I'm saying? Don't because the because the media the industry turned on her yeah. and they come like, you know, a culture vulture. Yeah. Don't then jump jump away real quick like, oh, I didn't touch that. I didn't touch it. It wasn't me. <laughs> no, come on, I give, man. I give her credit. Who is she dating? Because she, she's Azalea, like hold she on, was, hold was on. Swaggy P for a while. Swaggy P put that. Let's face facts. Iggy Azalea was always trash. Nobody was ever I don't really think Iggy Azalea is trash. And I think for what she I, is, I don't she's... Understand. You probably listen to Macklemore as well. 
No. But the only thing here is I, I, I don't like, listen to Iggy Azalea, but I'm saying if I'm gonna compare that to the black chick songs that are out, they're both they both sound the same. Her voice it actually is better than most of those chicks. Iggy Azalea I don't know why people is, hate her voice. She does of, have a uh, she's a she good actress. Look like, it doesn't look like it should come out of her mouth. She's a good actress. Right. She can she can play the voice. I don't she care can. what you say. It could be fake and phony, whatever. Yeah. She can play the voice. Nicki Minaj is doing characters and shit. Ah, yeah. Bobby, what's on the song? Nobody saying shit about that. I was never crazy about Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj is doing a British anyway. voice. An Australian chick is doing a black girl voice, but I'm trying to say uh, that Iggy Azalea's voice is better than majority of the black female rappers. Her voice sounds. She they didn't make it, especially. Yeah. Well, there weren't any. I think except Nicki. But you know, I have a theory. I have a theory. I have no proof to this theory. Okay. But I think for Ti, Iggy Azalea was a favor. 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 What do you mean? For the label? I think Iggy Azalea was a favor for the major. I think she probably has an uncle or someone who is a judge. What? And and he said, "Hey, Ti, I'll let you out of prison a little early." I don't a give look. a fuck if you. I, it, oh, hey, if you stamp like it, like I said, it's a theory. I don't give a damn gonna... if you stamp it. You got to stand beside it, and even when yeah. it, and it's failure, and you got to be like, "Yo, this was a failure." You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it worked. The, you know, everybody turned on this, and I really, I thought it was, you know, putting myself on this was the right thing to do at the time. But by trying to get it, like, you know, what I'm saying yeah. it was the worst mistake I ever made, and and now you shitting on her. That's that's too much. I think. That's, that's irresponsible As a man You have to be able To stand up and say This was a bad This was a bad choice However I wish her the best And yeah. you know what I'm saying If she can be successful elsewhere I, I hope that she is Don't shit her like She needs to disappear And, and die Because that's kind of like What he was doing So mm-hmm. I don't blame her For retaliating yeah. And clapping back I'm surprised she did though That's that's She's getting black dick too So you know I, She has to be Because that is not A white is that girl that why she uh, feel like she, could, she has to Because hey. she, she did She definitely did One of those like Hey and, she, and you know, T.I. is a very, T.I. has more clout than he has, um, you know, popularity right now. Like, I don't know if he's a, is the, mo- the most popular rapper, but he has a lot of clout. Well, with no, because he's on the artists. show, the flat, uh, uh, rhythm and flow. Yeah, he, but I'm saying it's, it's, he's pop, more, it's not music driven necessarily. It's more his personality people really fuck with, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. the fact for her to come back and say that about to, to him, I'm like she. She got hard because she's definitely going to get a lot of criticism from people nah, after nah, saying that. She ain't got hard. She could say that shit to Tip now, but let's be for real. She could not say that shit to Tip ten years ago. No. Well, she didn't need. But to. she didn't have to though. Yeah, she didn't need to because there was wasn't a reason record. to. True enough, but the the quote unquote real nigga <laughs> that we believe Ti is, you you're not even going to be able to voice those kinds of things. I'm not sure what you're saying. Uh, I, I think she was out of place. By, Why? By Why was she out of, place? out of place? She's she's allowed to feel a certain way, but he but, can talk. Uh, Cause we ain't really checking for you no way as Hope far as hip hop's concerned. We ain't checking. Somebody's checking for her. She got Hope like two million. Yeah, well, no, you can't come back and forth. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you can. Somebody's checking have. for Iggy. Cause first of all, Iggy looks amazing. Can we just? Man, say that? do you know how she many? Got hold on. Too. Do you know how many people on Instagram got two million followers and we ain't checking for them? Well, she no, you're not checking for them, but the majority of people in the world are. She has 13 million followers. Somebody's checking for uh, Iggy. Spirit hands. <laughs> now she did take all her. She did take her Instagram post down after that. Mm-hmm. But she. It doesn't matter though because she still has thirteen point three million followers and she'll be back up. You know she'll be back up. And she's still releasing that's music. That's fantastic. She's still I'm releasing glad music. She has and she a, has an audience. They may not be a black audience. audience, but that's the that's the thing that that white artists or non black artists are able to do. They you know Eminem. There's a lot of black people that don't like Eminem, but guess what? There's a huge white audience that buys. We like what he Eminem, does. but we don't listen to Eminem. Well, it don't matter. He doesn't need us to. Kind of, kind of same, same, thing with, same thing with Ludacris. We like him. He can rap very well. Well, we that's whack listen. though, because it because uh, Eminem is dope. I don't connect at a certain level because he's it's white, just... but you connect with Kim Kardashian. I don't connect with He's Kim Kardashian. I ball just, of confusion. I just like some of the things she's done. <laughs> well, I like Eminem's uh, lyrics. <laughs> 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 I like Eminem's lyrics. We can't just be like, okay, you're dope, but because you're white, I'm not going to... F- you can't do that. What do you that. mean? No, people do that all the time. That Like, there are... there, Like, Lord Jamar even says, and she was talking about female rappers, and he was like, yo, they dope, but they don't speak to me. That's not for me. Yeah, you dope. You got skills, but it's not for me. I don't, I don't want to listen to... Oh. What the the content of what you talk about? 
Well, I mean, that's, I, he I has a very narrow. He has a very narrow vantage point, and that's fine. That may be. <laughs> if you're only going to listen to real, we've, how many times have we said that hip hop is a male driven industry? At, that's the male driven part that he's referring to. At the end of the day, Ti has made and will make far more impact on black culture and hip hop. Right. He didn't need to say it. That's all yeah. I'm saying. He didn't need to bury her. He could have just. He could have just said what it was and wished he her could. the best. The thing I, that would have been a classier approach. It would have. I'll but the give thing, you that. The thing that I think people do like about him, sometimes authenticity, <laughs> because he is, if nothing else, authentic, and he will say exactly what he thinks. You see him grow, you see him struggle, but he definitely will say exactly what he thinks. And a lot of times it's like, it may be immature or premature, right. but I think the thing that people love about him and why he does resonate you know, with people outside of even hip hop is because he's an authentic person. So I think that's, he probably feels some kind of way about that because of what happened with her. And he probably does, you know, I think that authentic people usually like dealing with authentic people. So I think he, that's probably a personal thing for him. I agree with you, but I think that's, you know, the thing about him is he pops off and he says what he thinks. And I think that's what people like about him. Like even with the, with the, the list, cause he did the list on his podcast and people were saying all kinds of things about the list. And then he had this little video with his daughter. And it was like, my daddy don't care nothing about that list. Like, you know, he just, he's very, very, he's a really real person. And real people don't always think before they speak. You know, like it takes maturity and, and trying to censor yourself for what other people think. But people love the fact that they know with him, you're going to get a genuine answer. It and may not be put, the right one. He put uh, Tupac above Jay-Z for number one. That's his. That's his. Jay Z called him and asked him about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's crazy. That is hilarious. That, that's a Jay move. For, hey, for real. Jay Z is so funny because he is like, he is silently <laughs> moving. He is silently playing chess all the time. He doesn't give he a said, damn. The, the clip I saw, he said, "Ti said that he called him and was talking about some a whole other shit." <laughs> and then and the person said, "So man, you really think Tupac is number one?" Of me? <laughs> And he was like, yeah, I do. I do believe number one as far as impact goes. So that's funny. Know. That is hilarious. But every people are who they are. <laughs> Jay-Z is a puzzle. He is moving chess pieces constantly. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, I guess that, that's something yeah. for today. All right, hey, you know what I want to do? I want to get you guys to go out to the website, though. Rarescience.com. Make sure you're checking out not just this show, but all the shows on the network. Um, what else we got? Anything else? I don't know. I, I, nothing. I think that relationship... I know I want to start putting... We're going to start putting our relationship conversations on the website. Okay. So we can get people's opinion on what we talked about. Are you, are you into struggle love? Do you believe that there's such thing as struggle love? Does love... Does real love come with struggle? We definitely want to hear you guys' opinion. We need to hear more feedback from our listeners. Kev, do you want to shout out any of the social media stuff at all? No, I'm nope. not interested in social media. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, like, I'm, share, and subscribe. I'm now giving my life to Christ. Social media will not be a part of that. But in the so meantime, we have to suffer. Follow <laughs> MLL Kim Show. Uh, Kim Kardashian. I am, I am a new man. Follow M at MLL Show on Instagram <laughs> and Music Love Life on Facebook. You can always put your comments there. If more girls want to tell me I talk too much or whatever, I'm happy to hear that. Oh, that resonated <laughs> with you. You're salty. Just say, you females are so hard on females. It's okay, oh, though. Y'all are. are so hard the, the on facts. We are. Facts. We Women are. are hard I've, seen, I've seen some dykes beat their girlfriend the fuck up, and no Damn. police came. Girls are harder. Now, I, we all agree. That's, my, that's why I say that. <laughs> Well, no dyke has beat my ass, but girls, not yet. But you, I mean, yeah, <laughs> not yet. It may be a trip in your future. <laughs> oh God! So look, does that count? No, no, I'm not doing that. I thought earlier when you were like a woman, I was like, does 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 be honest think that I've already defected? Like I'm gone. To I'm the saying other- you may use the you ain't broke the seal on that new thing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe does that count? Does a trip count as breaking the seal? I don't know. I don't think you could so. probably keep it fresh forever. I think so. As long as there's penetration no... is the important part. Okay, but so penetration though. But so let me ask you a question mm. about lesbians. Here we go. I I don't really. Have a, <laughs> Does a, that count as penetration when they put the strap on and stuff in? I th- yes, I would That's say the same yes. thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's probably more violent. More violent? Yeah. Why would you say violent? I had a I had one tell me one time that she I would never be as good as her because she can fuck all night. Well, I have heard one tell me that as well. Why would she tell you that? Did she she told me she was she was you, propositioning me and she told me that And you didn't she, bite. She no, no. She said that she could heat them up. 
I swear. Heat What's it that up, for? Heat it up so it feels like, bo- okay. real, like body okay. temperature. Hold on, we need. Uh, we, yeah. Okay, so we need we need like, ten more share, minutes. Subscribe. No, no, we need ten minutes. Oh, okay. If you gotta heat it up and you gotta have a dick, why not just have sex with a guy? I don't know. I don't why are we trying to make this so much like a guy, but not yeah, a guy? I don't know. But that's what she said. She said she puts him hey, in the microwave that's, and, that's to warm until it. Until next time. Because <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation. Music Club Life.